Building on the two countries' shared history and friendship, President Biden reaffirms the steadfast commitment of the United States to the security of the Philippines in the face of an increasingly tumultuous geopolitical situation. The president welcomed President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. to the White House this week to discuss continued cooperation between the nations, including trade missions, educational programming, and military modernization, and to serve as a show of solidarity amidst China's increasingly hostile actions. President Biden reaffirmed that the United States stands with the Philippines and is committed to supporting its defense and security. President Marcos described the shared relationship as essential in the face of current geopolitical tensions, adding that the Philippines is looking to the sole treaty partner for strengthening and redefining the relationship. Earlier this year, the Philippines agreed to give the U.S. access to four more bases on the islands to further efforts to deter China's assertiveness in the region. To further bolster the U.S.-Philippine alliance and commitment to security, on Monday, the White House announced the transfer of three C-130 aircraft and two coastal patrol vessels to the Philippines. The two countries adopted defense guidelines focused on deepening cooperation, aimed at increasing interoperability between their militaries across land, sea, air, space, and cyberspace. In a larger effort to collaborate more developed collaborative relationships, the Biden administration will be launching a new trade mission focused on increasing American investment in the Philippines' innovation economy, providing educational programming, and more. More so, the two countries recently completed the largest war drills ever. The Philippines Air Force is also set to hold its first joint fighter jet training with the U.S. Air Force since 1990. However, these efforts are largely overshadowed by China's increasingly aggressive actions in the region. The Chinese Navy has been repeatedly harassing Philippine vessels while claiming waters close to Philippine shores as their own. As if to prove this point, on the 23rd of April, journalists from Associated Press and other outlets were aboard the Philippine Coast Guard's BRP Malapasqua, with a Chinese Coast Guard ship blocking the vessel from entering the disputed Second Thomas Shoal. China's harassment has resulted in the Philippines filing more than 200 diplomatic protests against China since last year alone. U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller commented that it was a stark reminder of China's harassment and intimidation of Philippine vessels as they undertake routine patrols within their exclusive economic zone. Biden's meeting with President Marcos and the announcements made are a demonstration of a long-standing assurance to the Philippines in the face of these ongoing issues. As Biden said, this move is the United States' way of showing. It will always have the shoulder of an ally in the Philippines.